Hello, Anacod here. Now, I've been asked a few times to make a chaser light circuit. For example, if you want to make a lighthouse with the spinning lights at the top. Unfortunately, the spotlight currently doesn't spin around, so we have to do something a little bit different. Now, this circuit is a little bit more advanced compared to the other videos, but it's not overly complicated, so stick with me and I'll keep it as easy as possible. Now, there's more than one way to skin a cat with this circuit. No animals were harmed in the making of this video. But I think I've found the easiest method to do this. So I'm going to use a generator and splitters for this. But you will more than likely have to use batteries. And I'd recommend branches instead of splitters. Because they are a little bit more efficient on electricity too. So once you've got your power sorted. We're going to start with three standard lights to test everything works okay. Before we wire them up to the spotlights. Now it's pretty simple at the start. Treat each light as a separate circuit. So all three lights will need their own timer switch, all three will need a branch, and finally all three will need a blocker. You can have more than three lights in this circuit, you can have as many as you like, the only stipulation is how much power they take. So I'm just going to use three for now as an example. So we need to put power in all of the blockers and we also need to put power in all of the switches. The power should come from your main power source. Now once you've done that, you're ready to start the wiring. Now I'd recommend setting the timer switches to 0.5 or even a second. It depends on the server latency. Now if you're going to be able to pull it off, I'd definitely go for the faster times. But that's something you can experiment with. So once your timer is set, wire that out of each timer into the bottom of the respective branches. And finally, the branch out from each of these into the lights that you want to power. Bear in mind, these lights need 2 power, so you can set the branch to 2. Spotlights take 10 power, so obviously set the branches to 10. If you're not bothered about electricity because you're a bit of a G, then don't bother setting it to anything. Just make sure you've got enough power going through. So then you take the actual power out of the branches and put them into the respective block pass through of each of the blockers. Again, you can stop the video and do it along with me, but it is quite simple. Once you've done that, all we have to do is link these circuits together. Now, this is the easy bit. All we need to do is put the power out from the blocker and put it into the toggle of the switch that's one down the line. That's it. Keep it going all the way to the end and this is where it gets super hard, so pay attention. Take the power out from the final blocker and run it back to the timer switch at the start. Yeah, it wasn't hard at all, I'm only messing with you. But that's it. The switches should turn on and off, one after another, and continue as long as they're powered. If you want a way of turning these on and off, you can pretty much throw a switch anywhere on the circuit to interrupt it. I use the wire between the power and one of the blockers. Once you turn the switch on, it'll activate your circuit, and once you turn it off, it'll obviously turn it all off again. Now, this wouldn't be a typical Anicod video unless I did something with a circuit, so I built my own lighthouse. I stuck it on the coast using four spotlights, and this means I had to use four sets of circuits joined together to activate it. For this example, I sped up the lights to 0.3, and luckily the server was fine, so I sat back and enjoyed the work. If you want the lights to run more smooth, I would suggest adding more lights in a circle and obviously the more lights, the smoother it'll be. Obviously, it'll take huge amounts of power, so take that into consideration when you're making this. I hope you've learned something new. If you have, feel free to leave a like. If there's something you want me to work on, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. If you've watched it this far, let me know you're a legend in the comments down below and I'll give you an Anicod heart. Big shout out to the patrons on screen now. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.